Hello Virgo, welcome to your mid-month May 2019 reading. I hope you're all doing well. My name's Katie, thanks for joining me. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Virgos. And this reading is general in nature, so please take what resonates for you personally and leave what doesn't. Any personal questions, we'll need a personal reading. Okay, so you can visit my website katietarot.com or you can click the link below in the description box. So Virgo, let's see what spirit would like to bring through for you mid-month May. I'm going to start with this card here. Okay, so we have the Guardian of Action. And it says, it's time for you to step up and be the leader. Your natural leadership skills are being called into action. This is your moment in the sun. So move into the light and shine for all to see. This card is also about a person who has charisma, is inspiring, enjoys a challenge and loves the spotlight. Okay, so this may be you Virgo. Okay, if you're resonating with those energies at the moment, this may also be another person in your life. You can see these qualities about them. Now, of course, all the messages in this reading, it can be vice versa. So feel free to switch around the characters in the story. So, um, so the guardian of action. So there's an energy here I'm getting Virgo, which is very proud. You're proud of something that you have accomplished or that you are doing. And this is great. You've got a lot of self-confidence going on at the moment. You may be a manager. You may be moving into a management role in some way in your life. And this is going to provide you with more abundance personally, but also there's a giving energy here and and this is also going to benefit others in some way. So it's an inspiring energy and it's a very positive energy I'm feeling. So, so well done for the Virgos out there who have accomplished something and maybe something tangible, physical, you know, in your life. But then it may also be emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Very powerful energy. Spirit would like to acknowledge that. Um, Virgo so that's amazing now let's take a look at the first two cards here where you are currently Virgo wow okay this is great we have another king energy coming through because the guardian of action of course is the king of wands so we have another king and this is Leo as well coming into the picture and we have the the six of cups wow okay the first message I'm getting is that if you have been upset or emotional about a lost connection, um, you may have been, your mind may have been in the past thinking about lost love or lost connection or lost um, um, opportunity or whatever this was, whatever kind of threw your world into topsy turvy in the past. Um, Virgo, you're really you've come out of that. You, you ended up being on top any, anyway. That's what they're saying. You ended up being on top anyway with a fiery energy here. So very much rose to the top regardless of difficult circumstances. So very powerful. You've, you're moving on. You have moved on. You're empowered. Things are starting to structure themselves out in your life and you're feeling very grounded as well. You know, you have your whole kingdom in the background. So you may be gathering possessions. It feels a very material sort of energy here. There's also a vibrancy. So you may be that leader in some way or becoming an expert or just honing in your knowledge about something. So you feel very confident in yourself about what you know. But whatever it is, Virgo, you are releasing this energy of the past that's held you back for some reason, okay? Amazingly powerful. Let's take a look at the underlying circumstances, the deep past for some of you. Okay. Okay, we have more cups energy here. We have the seven of cups. And we have uh, Cancer and Pisces. Cancer and Pisces. Okay. Yes, interesting energy here, Virgo. Things were very confusing. You had a lot of choices. You really had to meditate on this one or you had to withdraw from something in the past. You had to really get a hold of what you were feeling. And any obstacles, challenges, you overcame them. That's why you're so proud. Okay, that's why you are 
feeling in your power because you know through these difficulties or these choices you had to make which may have been hard that you made the best one for you and that you if any of these obstacles or challenges come up in the future you know how to deal with them now so I feel it's a bit of a learning process here a learning process um, there's definitely been a connection here between you and um, you and another you and someone younger than you it feels like um, there may have been some kind of I mean it's deeply emotional you you were kind of thrown into a bit of turmoil here um, this connection has been frayed or overgrown or um, and this is the past you know how I was saying here with the six of cups reversed you know this entanglement that happened in the past you've let go of this now okay whatever this was you um, difficulty to do with a relationship or a situation you know this entanglement something was meant to be beautiful it didn't turn out that way though um, you didn't mean it to go that way it looks like it was fate it was outside of your hands outside of your control for the most part Virgo um, some of you may have been may have gone through counseling you may have seek uh, you may have uh, sought professional help for this and it really has worked wonders and you've really come out of things in a much more um, understanding way a much more empowered way I mean look at you now look at this you're the king you're on your throne you're, you're very much in the center of your own universe here and I don't mean in a selfish egotistical way no this is a proud empowered way okay now let's take a look at your recent past okay the daughter of cups healing that's the first message I received for someone you know there's healing here it's like you were a baby you know this baby um, maybe a swan here or duck there's an energy here of just healing vibrancy beautiful okay on your way okay we've got Libra and we've got Sagittarius you you have recently been expanding your horizons and you've been trying to create balance in your life as well so you've really been working on your life Virgo um, over the last couple of weeks or focusing in on your emotional state your mental state your material life and really started to walk down the path that you want to go down and now look you've made such head waves you know amazing energy here it's like your heart center has been opened up you know you've got your intuition kind of screaming at you here as well you know follow your heart follow your heart and that's what you've done that's what you're doing amazing okay let's take a look at these cards the advice from spirit and what you're going to see okay all right oh I see what's going on here this is interesting okay we've got the eight of Pentacles and it's reversed and we have uh, Taurus and we have Scorpio yeah okay so what's happening here what you're going to see even more in your life if you're still going through a process of untangling the web okay whatever this may be self-doubt a situation with someone you're kind of you're deconstructing an energy here you are not being played anymore okay because you are um, you're working on that you're working on dancing to your own tune okay you're not kind of restricted by other people or other people are pulling the strings you're saying no to that you know you are being your own boss you know in a in a work sense I mean we've got pentacles here you know you are saving money you are investing in property you are kind of doing your own thing it's it's independent this energy because when this card comes up it means that you're not independent you know you've got strings attached but I feel that for some of you out there Virgo you know it's actually the opposite you are becoming independent because of this eight of Pentacles reversed here that's what spirits saying to me so you're becoming um, less attached less attached to the past perhaps to this entanglement whatever it is and you're able to find your power amazing okay what's coming up ahead for you overarching energy strength reversed Wow strength okay interesting and we have uh, Capricorn and we've got Pisces coming into play here some deep thinking yes you're still reflecting you realize though that the caring the nurturing the strength the fortitude that you've put in 
is um, is what you could have done. You know, the rest was fate. The rest was out of your control, and you're accepting of that. Okay, so you are balancing. This is a balancing act that's going on here, and they're telling me that you're weaving, you're weaving the threads. Uh, to create your own future so you may have been tied to something that was very fateful in the past and you kind of may have even gone down that path by choice uh, for some of you and it caused imbalance but you're reaching for something higher now something higher and you're going to see this wonderful beautiful uh, newness okay that's what they're telling me and you're weaving your own destiny so you so you're going to be making some very empowered, strengthening, um, beautiful, vibrant choices for yourself in the middle of May, coming up to the end of May. It's amazing energy. And there's also accepting here, accepting of, okay, things that were outside of my control, that's fine. But what I can control is what I'm going to control. You know, you're taking the power back here, taking the power back for yourself. Oh my goodness so empowering so empowering virgo so i can see you're going to have a fantastic mid-month to the end of may amazing energy coming through i hope you all have a wonderful month ahead and i'll talk to you all again soon